From time to time, you should test your website load time using an online tool of your preference. Now, there is no shortage of speed testing tools to choose from either. A quick Google search reveals over 200 million results for the phrase website speed test, so there's no excuse for you not to do it. Now, for me, I use one of a couple of tools, and both are free, as is most of the tools you're going to find online. The one I prefer is from Google themselves, and it's their page speed tool. You can take a quick look at that right here, and it's called Page Speed Tools. You can find it at developers.google.com slash speed slash page speed. Now, there's a whole bunch of goodies on here you can play with, but the main thing would be going to analyze your site online, put in the URL of the page you want to test right here, click on analyze, and bing, bang, boom, it's done. Another tool is from Yahoo Developers, and it's called YSlow, and it's an add-on that you can put on to, I believe, just about every browser except Internet Explorer. They've got an add-on for Chrome. That's this little guy right up here. They've got another add-on for Firefox. And there's also one for Safari and Opera. But if you do not want to go through the hassle or potential browser slowdown of adding additional extensions or add-ons or plugins to your browser, then what you can do is go to a site called GT Metrics. And that's at gtmetrics.com. And pretty much the same thing. You put in the URL of the page you want to test here. And then it will go ahead and give you the speed results from both Google PageSpeed and the YSlow application. So you get the best of both worlds all at one place. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go on back to my test site here. Let's grab that URL. Come on back here to gtmetrics.com and paste that in there. And then click on Go. It will go through and analyze the site. And depending upon how big your site is, will depend on how long this will take. Usually not very long, even at the biggest sites. And here we are. Gives you the summary of the page speed grade and the summary of the Y slow grade. And in both cases, I'm getting an A. Now, this should not be looked at as a typical grade. It should be one that you should strive for. But I want to tell you, though, that the site that I tested is a dummy site there's really not a whole lot of content on there and it's on a pretty darn good server as well and just taking a quick look down the line here it gives you a breakdown of the various elements that are tested and the scores that were presented for that particular element with page speed y slow and you get the timeline and history now with both the page speed and y slow breakdown if you click on each one of these links here It'll give you a little bit more information regarding the areas that need improvement. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on website speed test tools. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.